training fire, on, on these training fires, we're going to have the, the way the whole thing is set up here. If you look at the IP or not, what we have here is we've got Division 1, right here in this corner. We have Division 2 in the back corner, Division 3 in the other back corner, Division 4 right here. So when, we, when we're talking about going, that's for the whole burn. You will be assigned, be assigned the woods exposure in those respect, uh, respective locations. For, um, as far as the mule goes, we want that over there with, with a division on that side because our wind's coming out of the north of that. Uh, divisions um, one and four will be our training leadership. So, Jim, your division four, you will be the officer that Murphy's talking to. He will have an FTO, a field training officer, with his horn feet and matches. We'll, we'll go in. That's your light and backup light, man, each time. Uh, Joe Bates is here, too. We're Joe. Joe. Joe's here. He's another another safety. Plug him in outside or inside. But get with Chief Murphy so he knows exactly who's going in, who's coming out. Those call signs will be for that event for training fire number one, which is in this right-hand corner. Every training fire, both training fires that we have interior, we have an entrance and an exit. The uh, entrance to the um, this Alpha Delta corner, if you will, will be the hallway. Y'all will be pulling your hose line in. Your exit is going to set the fire. Y'all going to watch for a certain amount of time. Then y'all going, going to see the fire conditions. Learn a little bit as a uh, new fireman if you haven't if you haven't seen this escalate from inception. You also uh, you got a window. You can see it right here. It's got a piece of plywood over it. All that is is a quick kick, quick punch. That window comes out and you bail out that window. Everybody understand that? Entrance and exit. For this fire, it's in the uh, uh, Bravo Charlie corner of the garage here. You got a room back there. You got an entrance. We're gonna we're gonna enter our hose through this big garage door right here. We're gonna go through the, the next entrance into the fire room. You'll start the fire up there. Y'all will watch until you put that out. The uh, on the Charlie side, right in front of you, is gonna be a door leading to the outside. We will have uh, when we <laughs> when we evolve from training fire one, and we say, Chief Murphy's on call. Hey, training fire number one scenario over. Par check. We'll make sure everybody's good. Everybody know what a par check is. Personal accountability report. All right. When we phase in um, to scenario number two, interior training fire number two, we're going to swap roles. It'll be um, division one. Who's division one supervisor? Command house. Command house. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you you will be the fire officer that Murphy's going to make. You'll be attack, attack and safety, all it is on both of those things. Everybody understand that. Really, if you're assigned attack, you report to Glenn. Uh, field training officers, uh, you'll, you'll be with him. Y'all reverse roles if you want. We, want. we want a light man every time, a backup light man every time. And we'd like a field training officer outside with our safety crew to take some things because y'all are most familiar with this, this truck. When, we, when, when training fire number two is over, we will reset, we will take our uh, our hoses from the front, we'll move out into an exposure location. Y'all hooked it up, y'all know the fastest way to do that. Chief Murphy will give y'all a certain amount of time. We got uh, the supply guys coming with drinks and we'll have pizza coming around once time. But um, as y'all need drinks and stuff like that, we're, we're gonna have that set up in, in, in a location yet to be the time. I assume this will be up, up, up front here somewhere. We'll, we'll put it in an advantageous position. But when we go, Chief's on call for the burn. Again, we will go with Massey and Hornsby as the light man and backup light man, and we'll just call them. Light man one and light man two. And then they light it, we back out, we watch, we, we let this structure burn. Our main concern, we got a north, 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 west, west wind. We got, uh, we, we got these woods in this location. We have, you see what we have here? We have a primary water source coming off of that hydrant to the north of us, this hydrant here. We have a redundant water source. Once we fire up after this breaches, uh, uh, Mike on engine seven, he's drafting. He's gonna pull a draft and then he's gonna shut down. He's gonna be ready in case y'all got dry lines spread to uh, 25 and six that, that will go into effect in case we lose that last main. Cause you gotta, you gotta keep ready water at all times. For a backup to the backup, we got engine one sitting over here on Brazier and Highland. We have them set up to where we can go over there at any time and use their jet gun if we need it to uh, to help out with the with the woods over there. They're hooked to the hydrant, ready to go. Y'all truck's not running over there. Yet. Okay, very good. Um, 
the uh, some some of the stuff that we'd like to uh, just remind folks of. If if you're in a IDLH, which is anywhere up in this area inside the house, full PPE, no max everything. This isn't train smoke. That's real smoke. We want the whole whole nine yards. If you touch toes, we want you to have gloves on. Um, same thing, eye protection. If you're doing something that, that you need eye protection on, you you got to stay with your division that you're assigned at all times, or that guy's got to know where you're going. In other words, Murphy don't want to hear from 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 everybody. Hey, so so is getting a drink of water. You keep up with that guy. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Um, stay hydrated. If you're on the roadway, we want you to wear your vest. Um, we we have blocked block necessary traffic both at uh, north of the plug here and at the intersection down here. We are going to keep that lane open because if our redundant water supply comes in, Jeremy's telling me, tanker drivers are telling me that it's best if they use this loop. So they will be using this loop right out front. So we'll have moving traffic here in this thing if we go to that back of water supply. Uh, Chief Murphy. Uh, the most everything. One thing I would say once we actually start the fire, just be careful you collapse zones. We got some chimneys over here. Just stay out of that collapse zone. Uh, see something, say something. You know, if, if, you, if you see we got some issue, be sure to let me know. Safety officer know. Let somebody know. Uh, Chief, before I forget, I forgot to say, we're using fire ground four. Everybody uh, switch to fire ground four. You can take it off the scan. We got people monitoring primary. Chief Shook's running the, 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 the rest of the city right now. If we have to have to break off, we'll advise over that fire ground four so you don't have to listen to, to the city's track. Go ahead, I'm sorry. All right, truck three crew, y'all are ready to respond, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, Chief Crowley will be the safety officer. Uh, she'll be keeping an eye on you. The masters is going to assist. Uh, the guys that are off duty, Joe Bates, I guess uh, you can assist the FTO. And who else did I have? Yeah, got him. Uh, I guess we can assign him to uh, be with uh, Captain Davis. Other than that, I'll turn it over to the safety officer. If they got any uh, some crowding? They pretty much covered everything as far as safety. Just remember when you're in that hot zone that you're supposed to have all of your PPE on. Make sure also when you're finished that you gross decam and make sure you get all of that off of you before you go putting your gear back on the truck. If you are on the road, make sure you keep your safety vest on. If you see something, say something. There's, two, there's gonna be two of us on the fire ground for safety. Let us know what's going on. Well, one more thing too, when we get done with this down the road, we need to double check these trucks before we leave because a lot of equipment pulled from various trucks. So just make sure you go over your list well. Uh, let's let's uh, see what we got before we get back to the station. We've got to chase them down. So. And Chief Murphy, make sure that, you know, situational awareness today. There's a lot of trip hazards around here. There's going to be a lot of hose that's going to be charged. So pay attention to where you're at at all times. And make sure you hydrate. Well, let's, let's, let's watch these woods back here. I mean, we want this house to burn. We don't want the woods to burn. So <laughs> make Chief sure you keep a good eye on that. Okay, I got to see because this point on is all business. No time to play around. It's the real deal. We should have a good time. We want you to learn something. You all know something to ask. But from this point on, it's all business. And you get to be under a microscope today. Right? <laughs> Anybody got anything else? Any questions? You said uh, Captain Howell's in charge of division over this way yes do so we need to contact captain howe How, captain howe contact chief Murphy. no no you you are the division head in that in that back corner okay. yeah. so you, we will we will he will contact you okay you're the guy back here all right thank you yeah you're uh bravo Charlie. any more questions good to go fire all my right. boy everybody switch make sure y'all fire ground four